All right, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video here on the channel. And today we're taking a look at another one of these really cool hip young cats who are just like these big U YouTube pranksters. I don't even know, man. Can you even call these like YouTube pranksters actual YouTube pranksters anymore, man? Like it seems like every day we get like a new, I guess like prank gone viral kind of situation where it just, it feels like this trend escalates and escalates and escalates even more. Like it's like that one SpongeBob episode with eels and escalators, bro. They just hit an escalator, escal esca escalator, you know? Eventually, they're gonna hit that fucking eel and someone's gonna drop them. And that shit almost happened in this video we're about to take a look at today. So, like, I've been making a lot of videos recently talking about these prank channels and, like, these people who are streaming and stuff trying to, like, you know, do these kinds of quote-unquote pranks where they just go, like, screw with people in ways that aren't pranks. And then they want to just, like, I don't know, they want to act like this is content. But they actually almost literally ending ended up getting killed this time. I mean, there's no way around it man i've said it in videos numerous times talking about these types of things it's realistically only a matter of time before we see one of these internet prank legends or whatever that they think they are walk into the wrong shopping center go in the wrong neighborhood go to the wrong town something and one of them is going to do the wrong shit and end up actually getting either like brutally beaten the fuck up or they're going to get killed so today we're taking a look at a prankster who got a real gun pulled on him by a stranger in a parking lot and was nearly shot and killed after pouring fake gasoline, quote unquote, on everybody's car. So, come on, man. I'm burning your car down, bro. Fuck your car, man. Over. All of this. Yeah. Uh huh. Why you wanna do it? Come on, man. <laughs> come on, bro. All right, so this is the first prank in the clip we're going to take a look at. And he says, and I quote here, uh, we're burning your car, fuck your car. And then, of course, you know, he pours fake gas all over the front of this dude's car. He's, it looks like he's just going into, like, Target or something, just, like, there to shop and, like, mind his own business. That's what I really don't like about a lot of these videos is they're always fucking with people who are just, like, trying to live, like, a normal life and just do their own thing. Like, they're not going out to the store to be a pawn for some morons, quote-unquote, epic YouTube content. They're there to get their pretzels and keep it moving, you know what I mean? And these people just never respect that. They're, there's never any of these prank channels where the people are like not wanting to participate and they're like, ah, fuck it, let's not screw with this person. They always have to like take it above and beyond. Like when he's chasing this guy through the parking lot, acting like he's gonna douse him in gasoline, like you're just being a fucking asshole, bro. This is a clearly older man just trying to like enjoy himself. And like I said in a recent video, I think I did this video for you guys yesterday. Realistically, I'm making like six videos all at once for the next couple days but in the video that should have went up yesterday for y'all there was like the guy being racist towards people on the train and stuff and i said these guys never do this to people who will like adequately want to defend themselves and this is a prime example like this guy's running away from him in the parking lot just trying to mind his own business and these fucking assholes are filming him and you know running after him with fake gas and stuff like they never do this shit to like the six seven brolic dude who just got back from the fucking gym deadlift in 550 right they never do it to that tank they never go fuck with him they always go screw with like the old guy who's just trying to you know mind his own business it's always incredible how that works out but as you're gonna see from this next prank quote unquote uh they quickly get some what i can only describe as well-deserved karma It better be water, partner, or you're one dead son of a bitch. You stay out of this. Yeah, I don't think you want to do that. It's 2020. I don't want to do that. You almost died, you stupid son of a bitch. Fuck you, pussy. All right, so as you saw from that clip, the guy produces a firearm, and I'm gonna be honest with you, man, I don't think he would have hesitated to use that gun. Like, this is a middle-aged dude with the license plate L7 Ranch in a big Ford pickup truck, and you didn't think that there was a possibility this guy might fucking blow your head off if you try to screw with him in the parking lot? Like, you see this fucking truck pull up, and you assume he doesn't have a fucking concealed gun or something? Yeah. 
yeah, you're just, you're betting the wrong way. So yeah, he pulls a gun out on him. He fucking, he bet, he lets him know, like, you literally almost died. You're stupid for this. And I just want to point out too, like, at the end of that clip, notice how these fucking tough guys call this guy a pussy and say fuck you to him after he puts the gun away and after he's walking back to his truck. When the guy pulled a gun out, he was ready to kill these fucking morons for being stupid in the parking lot. They were running and, you know, tucking tail, fucking hiding like pussies and crying about it, right? Getting scared as shit when that gun came out. But hey, when the old man's walking back to his truck and he's no longer a threat, that's when you call him a pussy. Like I said, it's incredible how these videos always come to be like this, man. Like these fucking YouTube pranksters, they always go out and they screw with people that they think won't react. They screw with people they think won't like physically confront them in some way. And then I guess in this instance, they fucked around and found out and you know, they found the one guy who I guess you shouldn't have judged the book by the cover with and then they want to act tough after he bitches them in front of everybody after he about put you six feet in a grave over a YouTube video they, after you know he walks away now he's a pussy right it just shows you how bitch made all these guys really are like all these fucking creators quote unquote these uh these pranksters who think that they're YouTubers and they're some sort of internet star or something because they can go be losers in public right like they're, they're never actually like tough they never really stand up for themselves like whenever they're actually confronted by somebody they always like act like the biggest bitch ever it, it's so funny to me dude these are those same kids like in school i don't know if you guys had it like i went to a public school we always had like a kid who they always like fucked with everybody else you know they'd like mess with your stuff or they'd like shove you at recess or something and they'd like mess with you and then like when you finally did something back to them or someone snatched them up and knocked their fucking teeth out of their mouth real quick then they wanted to sit around and cry about it like a little pussy you know what i mean it's always people like that these are the same type of people they just never grew out of that stage of life i think this is the result of kids like that just not getting the shit knocked out of them in school like it just blows my mind because like i sit here and i think like man if i filmed something like this and i was out in public doing this kind of stuff and posting this on the internet like my family would see that my parents would see that and they would just be so disappointed they'd be like man my kid's a loser he goes in public and harasses people for internet points like he's a loser he, he won't just go get a job at i don't know white castle and flip burgers like a normal person he just goes around making society a worse place with his quote-unquote content for the internet right and like for these people they just don't have that shame they don't have that like self-realization of like man i wonder if everyone in my life thinks i'm a scumbag moron and i've been saying for a while that this was realistically just kind of overdue like it, it's been to the point for a while now with these fucking pranks and stuff on youtube and whatnot where it was genuinely only a matter of time before one of these people eventually reacted like this like especially here in the united states that's what i really don't get man like people are actually doing some wild just insane things trying to make internet content and like we live in the u.s like this is a very heavily armed country and in a good amount of the states like you can conceal care like here in ohio you can conceal carry your firearm without a permit like as long as you can legally purchase and own slash possess like the gun you can walk around with it as long as it's not a gun-free zone like if i wanted to right now i could go downtown for the day you know walk around in public and i could just have a fucking loaded glock on my hip the whole time and no one could do anything about it in fact ohio is so like gun safe that if i wanted to i could walk down the streets with a fucking ar-15 strapped over my back and that's technically not illegal because it's an open carry state as long as i'm not brandishing it or threatening people with it or fucking i don't know aiming it in like the daycare windows or something like people aren't really gonna do much or like there's not really anything anyone could do you would just think that in america people would have more common sense than to behave this way in public like when people are so gung-ho about self-defense and, and like we live in a country where like people do insane crazy shit in public all the time like it's sad and i hate to say it but like dude you can genuinely go into walmart in america and some psychopath with a bad day could go get his dad's ar out the closet and just come in and start killing everybody like that is a very real possibility or like some lunatic with a political purpose is setting people's cars on fire and blowing them up like that shit happens bro so yeah i mean like when you see some some random guy running at your car dousing what he is pretending is gasoline all over it saying oh i'm gonna burn your car i'm gonna burn your car up like yeah most people at that point are gonna get a little aggressive or like defensive i don't know man like when we were kids and shit like the pranks we did just like i guess aren't pranks anymore like when i was a kid if you wanted to prank like if we were at school and we want to prank somebody or something like we would wait till they went to the bathroom at lunch and like pour their chocolate milk in their mashed potatoes and shit like that was the pranks that we 
did as kids or like when we were in the neighborhood and we wanted to prank the neighbor we'd like ding dong ditch somebody you know those were pranks when i was a fucking kid and i'm not even an old head bro i'm in my 20s but that's like how we made jokes and like did pranks as a kid now it's just like hey let's go in public and uh, let's open up tiktok or whatever on our phone and let's borderline commit actual crimes or like make people fear for their safety or just be like pieces of shit in general and then like you know get people's reactions like th this is no longer pranking people you're no longer making a joke you're not being funny everybody's a comedian these days that's the problem man like everybody thinks that they can make it on youtube everybody thinks that they can be some fucking tiktok star that just isn't the world we live in bro and we really gotta stop encouraging everybody to really stop trying to do stuff like this man because i mean like these dudes put their life in jeopardy for what for a YouTube video, you know what I mean? It just, it doesn't make sense. We should not be having these types of interactions just regularly in public. Like the, the common decency of being in public is completely gone now. It's just kind of depressing. Like in society, everybody's so fucking addicted to this idea of like being a TikTok star or a YouTuber or just having clout in some way that people will genuinely behave either out of character or just like wildly like self-inflicted like danger type shit. I mean, no one can convince me that these guys having a fucking gun pulled on them and nearly being shot to death by this man in a parking lot was worth realistically any amount of views on YouTube. Like they could have gotten 50 million views and made just thousands upon thousands upon thousands of dollars, blew their channel up. It probably still would not have been worth this. Cause like it's going to be the wrong person one day. It's not going to be the fucking nice old man who just carries a gun for self-defense pulling it because he thinks he's in danger. It's going to be the guy who's on edge, who's already paranoid about people in public, who gets fucked with. And he's going to pull a gun out thinking he's being attacked or something. And he's going to kill one of these dumbasses. And then, you know, they're going to be having their friends parading around. Oh, he didn't do anything on social media. He didn't deserve to get killed and shit like nah, bro. You got exactly what you were asking for. I hate to say it like your life's not worth a YouTube video. But when you do shit like this and make it worth a YouTube video, I don't really care what your consequences are anymore. I'm not worried about whether or not that dude's going to fucking waste you in the parking lot. Shouldn't have been stupid. Value your own life more if you don't want to die in a parking lot. So with that being said, though, thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like. Subscribe if you're brand new around here on the channel. Follow me over on Twitter and Twitch at sub to Optimus. Make sure to check out Shoptimus down below. Thank you to my Watch Optimus subscribers. Your support helps the channel tremendously. And until my next video, guys, this is Optimus. Well, talking about these stupid prank channels and signing out.